What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Business and the Bible Girl, where we talk about what? Business, Bible, and design. It's me, your favorite design instructor, Sheena Michelle, and today I have something so exciting for you. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell button to stay updated with our latest content. So come on, let's dive right in. today I have a video for you. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a memorial keychain in Canva. Okay, so what I'm simply going to do is we're going to start with, we're going to click create a design and we're going to go to custom size. Now, if you've been following me from quite some time, then you do know that I always say it's easy for us to shrink down a picture than it is for us to do what? Blow it up. So what I'm doing is I'm making my custom size a 13 by 19. I always use this size for sublimation because it's just the best thing, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our elements tab, all right? And we're gonna just click a shape. I'm going to get a square and I'm just going to make this square about, um, let's go with a seven by seven, okay? So we're just gonna do a seven by seven. Here we go, boom. We have it. Here is the basis for our design. Okay, so the first thing is I'm just gonna come in and change it to black. All right, what you're gonna do is next, you're gonna go on Google, okay? And you're going to get a call, the Apple accept and decline buttons, okay? So I'm just going to come in, I'm gonna put them here. And again, y'all, we're just going to put everything that we need on the screen and then we're going to build it up from there. Um, next thing I have is I'm going to take this picture um, and I'm going to come in, edit, and I'm going to just remove the background. Now, remember, you have to have the Pro Edition in order for you to be able to remove the background. All right. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to place this here. So... So far, I'm loving it, all right? And then I need to add my text. So I'm just gonna come over, add a heading, and then I'm just going to put, um, we're gonna change this to white, first of all. And I'm gonna put grandma. is calling, all right? And I'm just gonna make it, let me shrink it in. I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to bring my line in, okay? And I'm gonna put it about right here, okay? And remember y'all, this is just the basis for we're gonna shrink and do all of that as we need to, okay? I just want everything on the screen. And then I'm also going to come in, duplicate it, and I'm gonna put the call I wish I could either put make or take it's totally up to you okay i'm gonna make this smaller all right so here we go guys so we have everything that we need on the screen okay and just for the purposes i'm gonna make this a little longer okay because remember you're going to put whatever size your keychain is okay so for this font, I'm going to come in and let's start with the grandma is calling. Um, you can really choose whatever font you want. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to choose this font so that we're not spending all of our time deciding what, we, what font we want, okay? And for the call I wish I could make, I'm going to choose this one. Okay. And boom, right here, we have this, okay? Now, the thing that I want to do is I want, I'm gonna come over to my photos, all right, that's on the left, and I'm just going to choose a cloud background. Okay, now, you can choose whatever clouds you want you can do blue clouds you can do black clouds you can choose whatever clouds you want this is just what i'm going to choose 
for my design, okay? I'm gonna bring it in. We're gonna shrink here. We're gonna bring it down. Boom, so I'm gonna take this position and I'm just gonna go backward until all my stuff is up there, okay? And so here we have this and for me, okay? Some people at this point, this is where they stop. If you look here, right here where my mouse is highlighting it, I do not like the harsh lines that's on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my elements, okay? And I'm just gonna choose clouds, all right? And I'm going to see which clouds that I think that I like. I don't care for these, okay? And so again, y'all, they have a ton of clouds, all right? For my video, I'm gonna choose these, okay? So I'm just gonna come in and I'm going to place this at the top. Let me see. I may want a darker cloud. That one is not as dark for me, okay? So I'm just gonna come in and I'm going to duplicate these clouds that are up here, okay? I'm gonna bring this one out a little bit. Okay, bring it up. And as you see, as I put the clouds, it took away that harsh line, okay? What you also can do is you can come to these clouds and you can hit edit image. You can go to either your filters and see which clouds you can change the color to, which I like this rustic. Um, I can change it to those. Um, I can change this to any color that I really want, okay? Edit image. Let me see. I can choose. Let me see if I choose this mono for my clouds. No. So I'm just going to leave it how they were, okay? Or we can even do custom, all right? We can do... See? You can change the clouds to however you want to, y'all. Remember... Nobody can tell you how to make your image. If you want, once you choose a color like this one, then you just come in and you duplicate this same cloud. It's totally up to you. It's your world as a designer. People should just learn to live in it, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna, of course, come here and I'm gonna edit and I'm going to, I'm sorry, I'm gonna hit position and we're gonna bring this to front. So now we have this. Now I think what to make this really look good is to put some angel wings. Um, so I'm just gonna come grab these and grab those. Uh, I think I want to do the second set, not the first set. So I'm gonna come here and I'm going to shrink them down, okay? And then I'm gonna hit position and then we're gonna go backward remember we want them behind and look at this y'all now I have them right where I want them and I think this looks amazing and then what will you do you go in you bring everything together you can group it and guess what you have now officially decided and have made a memorial keychain what you do is you market these to your customers. Um, if you go over to Creative Fabrica, there's a way that you can absolutely um, get. I'm gonna go to my profile and I'm going to hit my downloads. I got a metal key ring. I'm going to open up this metal key ring. It's in my downloads, so I'm just gonna come back over to Canva. All right, I'm going to go to my uploads. I'm gonna upload a file, go to downloads, grab this PNG, shrink it down, put it here, 
What I also would do is I would come to my elements tab and I would grab a circle. Okay, I'm gonna change the color of this circle to white. I'm gonna place this here and we're gonna move it right. We're gonna center it, position, and we're gonna go to center. Okay, and then we're also gonna do the same thing for this and it's already centered. So then I would just bring this to front and look at this. And this is how you can market your memorial keychain. So I hope this video was helpful. Always remember, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon so that you can be reminded when we do have new content. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye loves.